Hey everyone, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me and watching this video. So we're going to talk about TDCX, that's the name of the company, and it is going public on October 1st. So let's review it. TDCX Incorporation, ticket symbol TDCX, 18.8 .8 million shares, 16 to 18 US dollars will be the price range. And like I said, it's going public on October 1st. According to their SEC filing, it says that we are a high growth digital customer experience solutions provider for innovative technology and other blue chip companies. We offer an omni-channel CX solutions, sales and digital marketing services, and content monitoring and, mod and mod moderation services. We have specific expertise in providing tailored digital customer experience solutions to manage complex customer interactions that go beyond providing uh, boilerplate responses and which require a highly trained workforce capable of effectively delivering our differentiated services. It filed for $319 million IPO, right? Of its American depository shares, it's not an American company. The company provides customer experience services in global organizations. There's already some other stocks that are, uh, some other IPOs that we covered that um, are in the same business sector. One in that offers this service also, although it offers other things too, is ibex that i can that i can think of and ibex didn't do so bad so far i mean it's still up from its ipo but on a nice steady sideways pace since it ipo they didn't go up too much but yeah so singapore based tdcx it is based in singapore look when a company provides customer experience services and those companies that provide that customer service are outside the United States or outside a major European country. Unfortunately, I'm not in, you know saying that this is good and we should endorse that and companies from the US leave America and go to, uh, I don't know, Vietnam or something like that. But the labor is cheaper, right? And these companies sort of have a higher profit to keep gross margin and so on. So management is headed by founder, executive and chairman, CEO Lawrence Junique, who has been who was previously managing director at Phone Communication, PT Ltd. The company's primary offerings, what they offer is omni-channel customer experience solutions, sales and digital marketing services, content monitoring and moderation services. Some of those services ta Task Us also offers, and Task Us is doing awesome. It's a TASK is a ticket symbol, one public at 20 something, and then you reach at some point $74 within like three months. So TDCX has received equity investments from sole investor Transformative Investments, founder, chairman, and CEO, Junique. All right, so it hasn't really garnered the attention of any major investment firms. Total revenue. In 2019, it had $244.3 million. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, right? In 2020, that jumped 32.3% to $323 million. And then there was a jump of 20% in 2019. Uh, 21 just for the first six months if you compare it with the first six months 2020 and it jumped to 187 nearly 188 188 million dollars the operating margin six months ended june 30 2021 it was 41.3 in 2020 it was 75 in 2019 61 as of june 30 2021 tdcx had 60.4 million dollars in cash 283 million dollars in total liabilities and the the free cash flow was positive 61.9 let's say $62 million. Market cap, $2.4 billion. Enterprise value, $2.4 billion. Price to sell, 6.8. EV to revenue, 6.8. Earnings per share, 46 cents positive. Flow to outstanding shares ratio, 13.19%. Free cash flow yield per share, 2.56%. Revenue growth rate, around 20, 21%. I'm gonna give this company a three out of five, although to be honest, that doesn't mean that if it's a three out of five, I would not invest in, a, in any IPO that's three out of five. There's IPOs that I evaluate them. I give them a valuation score of three out of five, but I still found them good f for investing. Uh, yeah, if that makes any sense. All right, so I give it a three out of five. I kind of feel that they have a lot of competition. That's Their competitors are way, way higher, make more money, are, you know, Ibex and Tascas and so on. Um, kind of wish that I could just let this stock go and don't invest on day one. 
and let it prove itself for a few months see what's going to happen also the markets in the u.s right now are just not in their greatest especially with the whole fear of october 18th the government shutdowns and so on i know this company is from singapore i get it. it's not a u.s company but it is a it does do business in the u.s proceed with caution although i would definitely have this on my watch list definitely uh definitely might even invest on i might even invest on day one depending on what the final price will be right if uh, if the price is what what is the price range i'll definitely consider it i i like com i like companies that offer customer service i like that because i feel that the food industry customer service those are things that are just are in very high demand all the time so let me know in the comment section below what you think thank you very much for watching don't forget that this valuation score is just for entertainment it's just fun it's not real professional financial advice or financial tool neither should you ever trade according to my opinion like i said thank you and take care